Hey guys, I hope you're doing good. Um, finally back uh, from the front line, spent a week there. And um, yeah, today we're gonna be learning how to put the motors on the drone, okay? So last episode, we built that seven each, uh, inch frame. Now, today I'm gonna put the motors on. It's pretty simple. It's gonna be pretty quick uh, video. Those are 100, 1,300 uh, volt. Okay, so perfect for a kamikaze drone. I would have put about maybe between five to 1,000 um, grams. Anything above that, you want to go with a 900, okay? But um, I'm building this this drone for Revenge International from uh, Gore Legion. So that's what they asked me. So that's what uh, I'm building right now for them. Um, but yeah okay also for the, the tools we're gonna need today it's gonna be one two millimeter x screwdriver with some lock nut it's gonna be pretty straightforward uh we dropped uh the those are freedom hoodies they are pretty fire not gonna lie uh, like champion those are freedom hoodie shipping worldwide so hey, if you want to represent uh, the ngo those are freedom feel free to to buy your shirt and also like if you enjoy those tutorials if you think it's useful for you um well make sure you subscribe to this channel maybe you want to become a mem member also uh to support myself financially that would be awesome but uh, yeah once the motors are installed we're gonna be uh, installing the um, flight controller and uh, uh, the speed controller okay so after that, like uh, after the motors, that's where the, the real thing is starting. So thank you for being here, guys. And uh, let's get into it. Peace. Okay, so I did record for the first motor, but it did not. The camera had a problem, so... I need to do that again okay so we're gonna do the second one so let's open a motor comes uh, with four screw one spacer and one cap to screw on the top that's the motor right here What I'm gonna do, install like so, um, put the screw in, and then one by one, I'm gonna remove every screw and apply some lock nut on each screw.
it is important guys the motors needs to be very tight okay lots of vib vibration going on there so apply the lock nut and then make sure it's each screw is is tight that what it looks like so now I'm gonna remove every single of them and put the lock nut go put the little spacer and I will put the cap here we go guys so I'm gonna do the two other same uh, same thing same principle so the motors are very easy to install so I'm gonna do that and um, yeah I'm gonna see you on the next uh, tutorial guys next one we are starting to solder so it's gonna be very exciting so so yeah see you on the next one peace everyone